You're listening to the Jack Armstrong Experience on WKW, the home of dynamite music. It was an October night in 1970 when WKBW introduced its newest evening personality, the uniquely talented Jack Armstrong. You're listening to the Jack Armstrong Experience on WKBW. Far out, brother. Jack exploded onto the airwaves with a presence that couldn't be missed. Uh, when I find myself in times of trouble, Mother Mary comes to me and says, You big dummy, you've done it again. What's the matter with you? Don't you know when you're well off? What, you crazy? Let it be. 70 gold at WKW the Jackson Arshaw Radio Program. So be it. So let it be. Today happens before nine. Born John Charles Larsh in December 1945, Jack began his career as a 14-year-old at WCHL in Chapel Hill, North Carolina in 1960. His big break came in 1966 when he joined WIXY Radio in Cleveland, where all the evening disc jockeys had to use the name Jack Armstrong. Here we go, Wilson the Wicked Piggins. We're going to take you back to Wicked Whoa! Like yeah! We used to crank this up right around the store, remember? Remember this? Remember when they came to town? Oh, and they were down at Otto's Grotto one night, totally unannounced. I met all of them. It was fantastic. He became a huge hit. You guys have really improved your waterfront. Let me take my hat right off to you. It's fantastic. Great place to party. The following year, Armstrong was hired by competitor WKYC. Because Jack Armstrong was a copyrighted moniker for WIXY in the Cleveland market, he went by the name Big Jack, your leader. He would even taunt WIXY by calling himself Jackson Armstrong, and a legend was born. When he left Cleveland, he took the name Jack Armstrong with him. You believe Scorpio, WKBW, Buffalo, New York, one of America's two great radio stations, Jackson Armstrong, the All-American Freak, with Alan Jennings, the All-American Newsman. See you back on the other side of the news, at least three in a row at KB Radio. That's coming at you. After arriving in Buffalo, he refined his on-air style and was listed in the Guinness Book of World Records as the fastest talking human. KBW Jackson Armstrong, you 50 degrees on the outside of 22 minutes before 9 o'clock. You got a wicked Wednesday night in session and moving on. He also participated in KB's classic War of the Worlds broadcast. This is Don Lancer, KB Total Mobile News on the Grand Island Bridge. Thank you, Don. KB News is going to keep you informed of developments as they come up tonight here on a. Jack, a we're going to take this story because of the importance of it. We're going to take it live. Oh, from the news. From the, from the, oh, okay, well. Spot, all right. And we'll take it into there as soon as we can pick up the equipment and get it hot. Oh, all right. Well, that, that's Jeff K., our program director, folks, and he just informed me that we're going to cover this Grand Island news story live and direct from Grand Island. So uh, uh, I guess it, uh, what we'll have to do is just go ahead and go to the news department. So with further developments, this is uh, WKBW Buffalo, New York, to our news department. Are you ready, Mike, to the newsroom? You're all set? And I remember the night in October 1970, KB for a few weeks had been promoting the arrival of the All-American Boy, and I wanted to find out who that was. And... 7 o'clock news runs on KB, and this disc jockey comes on afterward, and I said, what was that? Uh, I had never heard someone talk so fast in my life, and it was Jack Armstrong, the All-American boy. And it took me at least two weeks before I got used to his cadence. Um, at first, I, I couldn't tell what the weather was because he was talking so fast. But uh, after two weeks, I could follow him. And the reason I'm here today talking about Jack Armstrong is because he was such an inspiration. I knew at the time I wanted to get into radio. And when listening to Jack Armstrong, I wanted to do it even more. Now, I ended up in radio news. I couldn't be a DJ. I just didn't have it in me. Um, but Jack... Uh, gave me the inspiration to at least pursue it for a time. Uh, I knew I couldn't be like him, and in fact, very few, if any, could be like Jack Armstrong. Truly unique. The energy, uh, the way he did his show. Listen to an air check, and you'll hear uh, what his show was all about. Uh, talking over the jingles, exploding dynamite to the home of dynamite music, Jack Armstrong on, on KB Radio. Uh, his sidekick, The Gorilla. Um, it was just high energy, very listenable radio. Uh, Jack playing the top tunes of the day. Just a wonderful experience as a, as, a, as a teenager listening to Jack Armstrong on a nightly basis on WKBW Radio. Yo, Stevie Wonder to kick it off! In 
2003, Armstrong returned to KB when the station introduced a nostalgia format, voice tracking his show from his home in North Carolina. Well, there, how do I get the number one song in a KB survey? Senator so Racy and Climax with Precious and Few. KB, it's you. Sadly, this was Jack's last radio gig. KB switched to progressive talk in early 2006. Two years later, John Larsh, AKA Jack Armstrong, died at the age of 63, following a fall in his home. It is with great pride that we induct Jack Armstrong into the Buffalo Broadcasters Hall of Fame class of 2014. Precious the few are the moments we took care.